water is flowing. This is a surprising current, don't you think? It's really fast. I wonder what critters would be in there. I mean, there is, there's even drowned trees making good habitat for those fish. So why is it flowing so much here, but then over there where you were by the tree wells, it's not flowing at all. It's just sitting there like buckets of water in the forest. And it's not really flowing even close right here. It's, where is it going? This would be fun to investigate. I wonder if there's an underground flow. Well, if you look right there, it's not flowing that much above it, like as much as it is right there. It's like there's different areas of flow speed. Something else you might want to think about, remember when we were up at Timberline and we were taking all those samples of the snow crystals and checking them out and looking at them? Well, this is really where the snow melt starts. This is where watersheds start. So it's starting to be springtime. As you can see, the snow is melting. It's flowing, of course, downhill because that's the only way water flows. This water is going to be going into a river. That river is eventually going to be going into a larger river and then into the ocean. So all these little snow crystals that you guys were picking up, that we picked up a baggie full of them, they all melt and they turn southward or they turn oceanward, let's put it that way. And as they're on their way, they're picking up all these nutrients. Watersheds feed the rest of the range. So, what do you want to think about next? I would really like to hear your stories. So, I think this is a spring. But it's a spring just... But it won't... If we were here in July, it wouldn't be here. So, it's a snowmelt spring? I guess. So... The water that up around us must is going down into the soil. It's coming back up here. But why is it not, why is it cooling up over there? That's weird. So kids, there's one more thing that we want to think about. Human beings are a part of this environment. We're a part of this planet. There's a group called Leave No Trace, and that's for a reason. People leave traces, but they leave good traces and bad traces. Over there, you might see a not so good trace. It's a plastic bag that's in the river, out here in the middle of nowhere, floating down the stream. A little bit further in, you're gonna find a plastic pipe. So what the heck, people? Can't we take care of our own trash? And then worst of all, as we get back over here, we can see that someone decided to make this their outdoor potty place. And you may laugh, ha, 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 except that now that is going to go into the stream. And when it goes into the stream, all those things are going to go on downstream. This is not our potty place. You should learn how to take care of all of your things by packing it out. There are ways to pack every single one of these things out and not leave them for other people to not enjoy and other people to have to deal with. So think about what you're doing when you're out in nature. We have one planet. We don't get to go to another planet. We need to take really good care of this planet and each other.